think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an <coughs> overhaul. What do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> and if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel around <coughs> with radiation level maps. Even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <laughs> I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. That village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. Uh, how are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. Uh, the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Damir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your railcar pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and 
We, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Oh, garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Son is saving a bill today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up. Then we'll bring Step on. It's cooler than in the train. Are you going out? Look here then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Ah, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm up to...
made a mistake coming here. I surrender! So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Where is your barrel? He's not here yet. Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Munai by Lair is my friend. The Munai by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here safe for Moon Knight by Lair. Kill them. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. 
There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have a choice. This place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai Bailer say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through, I'll follow. I'll be saying 
for you as long as I live. 